There are so many estate sales today. I'm so excited and I can't wait to go to Jimmy Stewart's son's house. That estate sale is going to be so cool. I'm excited. Okay, that price is not a good sign. Careful. Yeah. Water feature in the middle. I like going with you because you talk me out of Stuff in the backyard. I think so. <clears throat> It's all the old guys still use for it. They still got mine at home on the yeah. shelf. Yeah. And it was before that. <laughs> wow, shut that up. What is it? Oh, it's a sonar. It's a sonar. Oh, it's a sonar. Isn't it a television? Huh? I don't know if it works. Yeah, I <laughs> That's <Yeah>. awesome. <laughs> well, just give me the ball. Go ahead and mix it with something strong.
I just want to see the word. Oh. Yeah. 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 It's a very nice backyard. Pretty.
sure what's going on here. Oops, Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Thank you, guys. Everything's Oh, thank you.
So all the furniture is 75% off and everything else is 50. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you so much.
Everything's at 50%. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Hi, did you hear that? Yes, I okay, did. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, like just put it somewhere and put a soul tag on it. Like this was that most simple. Oh, oh, there's, oh. there's nothing down here. Oh, 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 Right. Yeah, I don't know that it was that 
Yeah. Is this yours too? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is two. Oh, okay. So they have one. You can just set that down there, and I'll just write write you up.
of a very green pool. Excuse me. It's expensive here. Okay, for the Jimmy Stewart son's house, that was so fun to go to. Even though there was barely anything, this was the second day. It's only a two-day sale, and most of it was gone. It was just mostly books and, like, these few things that I had. Tons of books. And um, what else? There was, like, some linens and some a little bit of clothes. Barely any, though. And it was just fun. I walked around forever and then went back and walked around again. They had a lot of, of the house closed off because I guess they sold a lot of stuff yesterday. So um, it was good that it was 75% off because I only paid $6 for all of this. And if you could see, just that said 15 So I had brought it up to pay with all this other stuff just to see what she would say because I have no idea anything about it and guess what I still don't um so I just wanted to see how much she would say everything was and then when she said everything for six dollars I was like yeah perfect I will take it but you know oh I looked up this person and I don't know there's like a photographer person um that does and so I guess this could be a picture of a bear I literally didn't know and I just grabbed it so and this was it looks like it was something that um, 
the son or his wife bought in an auction. And um, anyway, I looked it up and it's definitely not on eBay and it's not on Google either, this exact thing. Uh, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna hold on to that for a while and research it a little bit more later. But that was, this is my whole thing with stuff that I got today has been like, I can't find it. I can't find it. I can't find it. So I don't know what to price stuff at all. So it's going to be a challenge. There's some things that I found, but most of this stuff, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe. I, like, it was really kind of depressing because I don't know what to charge for all this stuff. So <clears throat> anyway... Uh, let's see, what should I start with? Let's start with this book. This book I saw, um, so first of all, the background of um, Jimmy Stewart and his sons, he had two sons, he has two, well he had two sons and two daughters. Uh, one of his sons passed away in Vietnam and the other son, um, so when he, he married Gloria. She already had two sons, and he adopted them. And I think they were like five and three. So this one, um, the person that lived here was Michael. And um, so that's, and he has a different last name. He has, it's like, I can't remember the name, McLean or something. McLear, maybe it's McLear. So um, anyway, this was the mom's book, obviously. And this book, it looks like it's a first edition, too. I looked it up to see, and I saw some others on there, and this is exactly, you know, the same. It says it was in uh, published in New York, and all of this was the same, too. Copyright 1949. So I believe it to be a first edition, and I am not a professional book person, so I definitely put that in the listing that I don't know for sure. Here's what I see, and here's what I researched and saw other people have that too. This doesn't have a cover, but there is another one listed that doesn't, or a, a couple other ones that don't have covers too. And the ones that do have covers are just, they're messed up really bad. <clears throat> but this book, I've seen, which this is what I don't get to, is $300 to $4,000. So I don't ever understand where they get this logic of how much to charge for them. But I am, so I'm not sure. Oh, and just, it's a bent. Like it's, uh, you know, warped. So I'm going to put a brick on it overnight. It's really hot here, so, or even during the day, maybe it'll go back to its shape so and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna list it for I, mean, I probably will do it as an auction just because so that is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it as an auction and see what happens because truly I hate when the numbers are just all over the place like what am what are they seeing that I'm not seeing or you know I'm not sure okay so that's that and then this Winnie the Pooh book is from 1960 and it's in another language so I looked this up and I could sell this for 15 so that's pretty cool it's so cute $15 I will sell that for this people magazine they had it in a nice sleeve and everything they did scribble out their address but I could probably get five bucks for it. So that was also at the sale and I just grabbed it. So I don't think, I don't know, $5. It's not worth it for me to put on eBay. So anything like $20 or more, I will put on eBay. If it's even worth $10 or 15, maybe 15 sometimes if I know it'll sell just to get rid of it. But otherwise, sometimes it's like, eh, it's just not worth it for a ten dollar thing these are some menus people collect old menus so I grabbed these two and these two menus I can sell for thirty dollars as a pair so that's pretty cool 
uh, other menus were on there. How I got this figure is these, this name of this place. Um, there were some on there and they were like $20 each that they sold for. So I thought I'm just going to put mine as um, $30 for both. So that way I know that I'll most likely sell. Oh, I didn't even notice that they drew in it. Huh. Okay. So anyway, um, yeah. I'll go ahead and do that. List them for 30 I don't know now that they. I see that they drew in it, though. Oh, well, we'll see what happens. I always put buy it now, and people can definitely ask, you know, lower the price, and I take it. Mostly, I take lower price probably 90% of the time, unless it's like a crazy lowball offer. I almost always take offers. So these, I, w I was really excited about these, and they were marked... Three dollars each for each sheet, and I was looking through them, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, these are so cool. I would maybe I'll even keep them. I don't know. They're just so cool. Keep them for a bit longer until you know they're worth more." So literally three dollars each, but I put them in my pile, and so I only had to pay six dollars for this whole group of stuff, like I said. But then guess what? When I got home. This is literally printed on a piece of paper. It's not really stamps. And I didn't notice that. Obviously, they didn't notice that either because they were charging $3 each for these things. And I know they wouldn't have because they were so nice. There's no way that they did this on purpose. They were just the nicest people. Oh, my gosh. So... And of course, they're not going to be there tomorrow. And not like I'm going to return it anyway and be like, hey, these aren't real. And I, I paid $6, like I said, for everything. So, And I've already made my money back more with the stuff that I do know what it's worth. So this one I was really excited about. Because him. But yeah, that was like, what? This is not even real. And like all of the, like when I was looking online, like they have this on there. And it's just paper. Oh, I'm so bummed. Anyway, so, oh well. They even have, um, at the sale, they have like this big poster board of when Jimmy Stewart was on the stamp. And they were selling that for like $230. I think I got a video of that. But, <clears throat> yeah, so they were really into these stamps, but these are not real stamps. So that was a bummer. This movie radio guide. Um, the actress on there is, uh, Veronica Lake, and I had to go to page five to see who it was because that's, they don't say it on the front. Anyway, so it's really cool. Looks like it was 10 cents back in the day, and it is from 1942. It's a little rough shape on the edges but it is really cool yeah all the pages are like have little rips on the edges but man it's super cool and this could be oh yeah Cecil B. DeMille um this I can sell for 15 and I probably will just because it's pretty cool I like it So yeah, I think it'll sell for 15, so I think it's worth it. But that's pretty cool. I love all the old ads in here too, it's so funny. Middle aged women, heed this advice. So funny, Ugh. Yeah, it's so fun to look at, especially the ads. Oh, and then they have like a crossword puzzle in there. Cute brain busters. All these ads. So funny. And an amazing new camera. Only a dollar ninety-five. That's crazy. Pretty cool. Okay, so anyway, that I'm gonna list for fifty. Okay, and then I found this a tribute to Rich Little. 2003. I just grabbed it. And so this is from, um, Jimmy Stewart has a museum and he is from uh, Indiana, Pennsylvania. And they made a museum there uh, 
a Jimmy Stewart Museum, James Stewart Museum. And they had an award presentation for Rich Little, which is interesting. And it has like a letter in there from the kids. And um, it's not, that's printed by the way, it's not real signature. And so anyway, that's kind of cool. And obviously I looked it up, can't find it. This is my can't find pile here. So, <clears throat> but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I even tried to find, um, Harvey was one of his movies that he did. I even tried to find um, any kind of pamphlet like this, you know, of a uh, tribute type thing. And I just, I don't know, I gotta dig a little more, I guess. So these are like, hmm, what are we gonna do with these next items? That's me trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. Let's see, there's his wife. Oh, she was so cute. He was so cute. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. Jimmy's not rich little so much, but sorry. Anyway, so there's that. And then this one, <clears throat> this one was Big Wonderful Life tribute to him. And so I couldn't find this either, but it's pretty cool. All these little tribute things. Oh, and it just has all his movies in it. That's right. I looked at this different movies that he has in. Probably not all of his movies, but a lot of them. So, I've never seen, I think I've only seen, I love him so much, but I literally have only seen It's a Wonderful Life. I'm pretty sure. I don't know, maybe I've seen something else. But I do love him. Okay, so there's that one, and then this one I don't know either. <clears throat> so this one it's bigger than the other one. Uh, I don't know what the date is on. Oh, fall of 1997. Hmm, I, feel, I think he passed away in 96. I'm not sure. But this is just their, uh, like, magazine and an interview with him, I guess. And then there's other stuff in this book, too. So, anyway, those are the things that these main things, I do not know what the heck I'm going to price them at. And this one, of course, I'm going to wait on that one and just dig later. Sometimes I do just go back to my piles and be like, okay, let's research this again and just put a price on it. You know, like just find something. Um, let's see. Yeah, and that book. Oh, yeah. So that's that was such a fun time, though. Oh, my gosh. I was so excited to go there and just to look through all the stuff it was super fun there was a big box of postcards and it was all written on and stuff um i just i mean i literally would just go through i was trying to look through there was so many but i couldn't look through all of them obviously and just to see like if his dad was on the any of the postcards like his signature or anything there was so many and definitely didn't want to buy that huge box i heard somebody ask um, how much would it, cause it said like two for a dollar or something like that. And somebody asked like, how much would it be for the whole box? And they said $10. And I was like, no way. I am not going to do that to myself. Go digging through all that and then try to sell. And postcards just are not selling right now. So from my experience anyway. So anyway, it was super fun to go there and <clears throat> just the nicest people doing the estate sale too. They were so nice. And he's, the sun is moving, so that's why they had the sale. So it was fun. And, oh, the view, everything, it was just really cool. It, that was We went to some really cool houses today and saw great views and up in the mountains. It was really cool. Sale number two. So this one, ugh. Sometimes I just am like, I think we had already been to two sales, and I just... I go through this thing where it's like, I need to buy something. I haven't bought anything. And so it was right before the uh, Jimmy Stewart son's house. And um, I did find these little books. And uh, little blue books. And they're dime books. These were only 10 cents. And there's, they're really cool. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Romeo and Juliet. 
U.S. Constitution. Anyway, so there's tons of different ones of these. And, oh, yeah, some of them are like that. They're old. <clears throat> I couldn't find a year. So I don't know. But then, then she wrote on some of them. So literally didn't know how much these were going to be. And I brought them up with my pile. And also I had some ink. I think you can see me grab that ink. There's tons in a bag. And I asked her how much for that. And she put like $20 on it. And I was like, oh, no, forget it. I don't want it. And so, um, and then these books, she's like, well, let's see. Books are a dollar each. So, and I was like, are you kidding me? These are little teeny books. And she's like, yeah, but they're old though. So anyway, I spent, this was $2. Okay, so this, I collect Chanel stuff. And it's just an empty bottle, but I decorate it. And so this was in with a bunch of bottles. There was 11 bottles of perfume, all empty. And um, and it was 11 for $15. And I only wanted this one. The sign even said it. It was like a written out sign that said 11 for 15 And so I grabbed it and I asked, I'm like, can I just buy this one though? It's the only one I want. And they're like, oh, okay, $2. So I hope they went back and changed that sign because it said 11 and now there's 10. So anyway, so $2 is what I do, two and less is what I pay for these bottles usually. So that was good. So I spent a total of $12 at the store. So this, I'll tell you about that in a minute. So this book, because regular hard books, back books were $3. <clears throat> and I know textbooks are usually um, sell good on eBay. And I just grabbed it. And because there was tons of people in with the books and it was driving me crazy, so I grabbed it. Books were three dollars. I literally never pay three dollars for a book. Any like hardback books were three and softback were or soft ones were a dollar each. Which that's so three dollars. That's crazy. So anyway, I spent twelve dollars at this because it was twenty percent off and I don't know how they did the math, but when he said $12. I was like, eh, okay, whatever. So, um, this Princeton book, so it says industrial management on it, uh, Princeton. So here's me like, okay, let me put on the Google or not, or the eBay search, uh, Princeton industrial management. And I kept looking and I couldn't find it. 1947. And then finally I realized like, duh, this is just the stupid cover for the school. Like this isn't, this doesn't go to the book. So this is just what they get at the school so they can write what the book is so they can have a cover on their book. And I am silly and it took me a long time to realize that. So this book then after I looked it up is not really worth anything. I think it's 15. Oh yeah, it was 15. So do I want to put it up? I don't know. Books usually on mine <laughs> thing take forever to sell unless it's something really cool. I still always get them, usually because if they're super cheap, I get them just to take a chance. This one was not cheap, so I should sell it. I should for 15 because I spent $12 at this stupid sale. So anyway, I'm going to do it. And then these little books, all of these I'm going to put on for 30 So... And then just put, there's writing. I don't think there was writing on the other books that I saw. I know there wasn't. So I don't even know if they'll sell for 30, but I'm going to give it a try. And then this was mixed in with the books. So this is, what it says is a drone project on it. And then when you open it up, it, here it's like a negative of a jet and a man. Let's see best way to do this. Oh, I know. I'm going to put it under this, this these stamps. I'm going to put it under these stamps. You can see it. Stupid stamps. Okay. <clears throat> so, it's like a drone. I guess he's holding a drone. That's what it says on the thing. So, kind of cool. And then this really cool jet. So, hmm, I don't know what to do with this. I mean, I'm going to sell it, of course, but I don't know how much. It's pretty cool, though. Anyway, so that was my day. I bought only from two store, two uh, estate sales. 
<clears throat> and got ripped off a little by accident because I know they didn't mean to do that. And, but then I got some really fun stuff too. So I am excited. It was such a fun day. It was totally worth it. So anyway, that's it. And now I will show all the things that sold this week. Oh, and just so you know, the Chanel bottle too. If I was going to sell it and I'm not going to, it would, I saw one on there for $5. So it wasn't even worth anything. If it was like, this is worth $100, I would sell it and not keep it for my collection. But it's only $5. So. Anyway, I'm going to keep it. Love, love.